The Detroit Lions claim a defensive tackle off waivers and the practice squad begins to develop. Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome to Detroit Lions Syndicate. If this is your first time here, we talk all things about the Detroit Lions and we make videos almost every day and sometimes you get more than one like today, a lot of stuff going on. So if that's your type of thing, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We hit 5,000 subscribers and I appreciate that so much. If you want these videos in your notification feed, hit the notification bell as well. The Detroit Lions are currently second when it comes to the waiver wire and claiming someone. And that will run through week three and then the records will be updated and it will go in the current order of this year's record. And they decide to take a tackle that was waived by Miami Defensive tackle Benito Jones and the Lions also began to fill the practice squad and I think you guys are going to be happy to hear about some names that landed on the practice squad but let's find out a little bit more about Benito Jones. This information comes from Pride of Detroit. Jones went undrafted out of Ole Miss in 2020. Though he didn't make the initial 53-man roster that year, he did go on the practice squad and eventually made five game appearances in his rookie season. Last year, he spent the entire year on the Dolphins practice squad. At six foot one, 329 pounds, Jones feels Detroit's need for more nose tackle candidates on their defense. Prior to Jones' addition, the Lions only had a single defensive lineman who weighed more than 300 pounds, which is Aleem McNeil. And with McNeil scheduled to play more three tech going forward, Detroit needed a run stuffing defender. I'm not surprised at this, that the Detroit Lions claimed a defensive tackle, a 300 pound defensive tackle off waivers. Dan Campbell said about two weeks ago that he was looking for more girth in the middle. So this guy is going to fit right in. And with us needing more beef in that interior line, I'm OK with this. So we pick up. Defensive tackle Benito Jones off waivers. Before we get to the practice squad members so far, Riley Patterson, the kicker that filled in for Austin Seibert last year, was picked up by the Jacksonville Jaguars. So his time in Detroit is over. He will now kick for the or be part of the Jacksonville Jaguars team. So kudos to Riley for finding a spot. Moving on to the practice squad, as of 326 this afternoon via Pride of Detroit, here are the six members that are part of the Detroit Lions practice squad. Tight end, Garrett Griffin. Cornerback, Savion Smith. Nickelback, A.J. Parker. Wide receiver, Tom Kennedy. Running back, Justin Jackson. And edge, James Houston. Lions players who cleared waivers now are free agents. Wide receiver, Maurice Alexander. Wide receiver, Khalil Pimpleton. Running back, Godwin Iguobuke. Tight end, Derek Deese. Offensive tackle, Obina Eze. Offensive tackle, Darren Paulo. Linebacker, Anthony Pittman. Cornerback, Cedric Boswell. And cornerback, Mark Gilbert. That is the current update from Pride of Detroit as of the making of this video. That's six players down, 10 to go. Now, bringing in Benito, we are going to have to make a roster move and probably release somebody uh, to bring him in, and that has not been announced just yet. So maybe the D Detroit Lions are trying to figure out who that's going to be. But how do you feel about the practice squad, man? J James Houston makes it to the practice squad, so that's good that we didn't lose him entirely. And old reliable Tom Kennedy once again winds up on the practice squad. Now, if I'm not mistaken, one of these players that are not protected by the Detroit Lions, I don't know if that's now or when the season starts, can come and sign someone off of the Detroit Lions practice squad but they can't be one of those four protected players by the Detroit Lions. So maybe Tom Kennedy will stick around or maybe he will get signed by another team. But as of now, those are the six players on the practice squad. We have 10 spots left and there were still nine players that are currently free agents like Khalil Pimpleton and such. Now, we can sign some of those guys to the practice squad, but you have to remember about the practice squad rules that we discussed yesterday, what criteria has to be met for you to actually be placed on the practice squad. I think we can see Khalil Pimpleton for sure wind up on the practice squad. So that is your latest update for the Detroit Lions. The six people on the practice squad thus far, the return of James Houston and old reliable Tom Kennedy, cornerback Savion Smith, and some other gentlemen as well. We still got 10 spots available. I'm sure those will be filled, if not tomorrow, in the coming days. David Blau has not been returned to the practice squad. That probably will come tomorrow uh, so we just have to wait and see. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. I just want to say thank you again for 5,000 subscribers. When I decided to make this channel, I didn't know what kind of welcome 
I was going to receive because a couple years ago, the Detroit Lions community was not as welcoming as they are now. And I see now that it's a completely different fan base and there was other people out there to be reached. And one thing that I'll say, the last thing I'll say is that on this channel, you will get the truth. You will get my real opinion. You will never get a phony version of me. There are a lot of creators, one in particular, who's super duper phony. He's only going to tell you what you want to hear. He's too scared to be himself and tell you like it is. So he's going to continue to be phony like we all know that he is, right? That's not going to be me. Whether you like what I say or not, I'm going to tell you my opinion. And at the same time, when you put yours in the comments below, I'm going to listen to it, right? So I will always do that. I know we want to believe in this regime, and they've done a lot to gain our respect, but they still make mistakes. They're human. They make bad decisions. Trinity Benson, a bad decision. So if you want realism and transparency, then this is the place for you to get your Detroit Lions fix. Sometimes I sip, sip on the Kool-Aid, but sometimes I spit it out, man, and I tell y'all what y'all need to hear. I'm always going to drink the Kool-Aid. If you're a Lions fan, you're going to drink the Kool-Aid. But mine going to be a little spiked because sometimes you need to let that extra kick. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.